Hi, my name is Roshan and this is So basically in this video I'm going to talk about esports or video games and how it can affect or improve the performance of athletes in physical sports. So the title of this video is Few moments later I'm just kidding. Uh, you can see my title down there below. That is my title. Alright. Before we go any further in this video or in this topic, do you know that the revenue of the global esports market right now are being valued at 950 million USD and it is expected to reach 1.6 billion in few years from now. So basically it's growing so fast. But why? Aside from the evolve of technology industry right now, the global pandemic is one of the contributing factors and the pandemic itself forces everyone to stay at home, do work from home, do tasks from home. Therefore, everyone is relying on internet connection and it causes a huge demand in this technology industry and therefore, the esport industry are getting benefits from it. That is the reason why I'm choosing this topic for this video because it is so trending in our daily life and I believe that everyone has the right to know the positive side of esport and the benefits that we can get from it. So let's go back to the title of this video which is Does eSports eGames can improve our gameplay in sports? So what do you think about it? Okay, to be more specific in our discussion, let's give an example of physical sports and eGames. Okay, for the physical sport, I choose badminton as a physical sport and for the games, I choose shooting kind of games and AOE kind of games. In case if some of you don't know what is shooting type of games, PUBG, PUBG is one of them. In case if you don't know what is AOE type of games, you can go Google for Dota, League of Legends or Mobile Legends. Those are the example of AOE type of games. Based on the games that we mentioned just now, the positive effect that you can get from it are reflex, accuracy, focus, concentration, and creative thinking. So those are the common positive improvement that people can get by just playing those type of games. But I made a little bit of research and I found this video. I'm a brain scientist and as a brain scientist I'm actually interested in how the brain learns. And I'm especially interested in the possibility of making our brains smarter, better, and faster. This is in this context I'm going to tell you about video games. When we say video The talk is all about video game and brain, and there are a few more improvements can be found, which is quick decision making, situational awareness, strategy anticipation, and perseverance. Actually, these are the same quality that is needed in terms of cognitive or mental, as an athlete or in this scenario, badminton athletes. Let's go back to the title of this video which is Does eGames can improve our gameplay in sports? The answer would be yes because the quality improvement would be so useful when we are playing our sports and as we are mentioning about badminton and eGames, do you know that current world number one player in men's double category also plays Dota? So this could be one of the reasons why he stays at the highest rank right now and before I finish this video, I'm going to leave a clip of his gameplay and you can see what makes him world number one. Thanks for watching.